Well, hey, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I'm meteorologist Brandon Spinner. We had some showers earlier this morning. Another round trying to push through to Tri-State right now. But it's this area in southern Illinois that we're keeping a close eye on towards the west of Evansville, Indiana right now. Some stronger storms out that way. And those bring us a better chance at some heavier rain and thunderstorms later on in the day today and the risk for some flooding. I'd say flooding is probably our greatest risk out of the three, but still potential for some gusty winds, and maybe even a little bit of hail out there. That marginal risk includes much of the tri-state. The further north you get, the lesser chances of seeing some strong or severe thunderstorms. Some of the heavier showers will dump a decent amount of rainfall. We could have some torrential downpours here or there throughout the day today, especially northern Kentucky. Those showers will be off and on throughout the evening, but I do expect some training thunderstorms. Think about it like a train on the tracks continuing over the same spots over and over and over again, kind of unzipping the atmosphere of all of its moisture, bringing us some heavier rain totals more likely in places across northern Kentucky and into southern and southwestern Ohio. You can see a few of these totals near three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half. I wouldn't be surprised if we see localized amounts near two inches after that round of storms comes through. No threat for tornadoes with this, but wind hail that's there. I'd say flooding is probably your bigger issue, and that's why the Weather Prediction Center does have us in that marginal, possibly slight risk out for northern portions of Kentucky. Now, we'll be dry overnight into the middle of your Thursday. That rain should end before the morning commute Thursday, but by the evening, another round of showers and storms could try to sneak in, and if they do make their way a little further north, don't be surprised with some stronger winds and maybe a better chance at hail with that system as that continues to bring more heavy rain as well. Behind that, we're talking heat. We're talking how hot? It looks like our first 90 degree day of 2022. Our last one came on August 29th of 2021. And in fact, this is three weeks ahead of schedule. We normally don't see our first 90 until the middle of June. How often do we see this kind of heat in May? That's pretty seldom. Uh, 90 degree days in May since 1872. That's 150 years worth of record keeping. We've only had a 90 degree day 99 times in the month of May. This one will probably make it 100 as we head on throughout the rest of the week, noticing that humidity really starts to climb into the heavy or sticky categories for the end of the week and into the weekend. And that's going to make it feel a little more like summer storms out there for the afternoon and evening. 74 degrees today overnight 63 flooding is possible overnight tonight. Partly cloudy for your Thursday with storms later in the day. And then that heat comes in for Friday, Friday, 90 degrees, 87 on Saturday. More humidity is going to feel like summer. And then into Sunday, a cold front comes through. That's going to cool things down quite a bit for the start to next week.